I can't believe this. What about you? I'm talking about the, the how far we've come as people. Like, I'm with you. I'm, from I'm sitting with so my man over here that's like a brother to my. You over here that's just a legend in the team already. Then I've got yeah, you, man over here that are just like bringing an extra vibe to it. Who would have thought this became casual? Oh. <laughs> Too much. This is the London sound. Ishmatic beats. But this isn't just about the music. You ready for the road? Yeah. We're trying to make a new wave and drill. This is going to be a mazza. It's something that everyone should know and everyone should be aware of. This is about trying to make people realise that we can learn about the world through music. You and drill itself as a system of critical thought. Connect with people that otherwise aren't that easy to connect with and achieve real social change. This could be life changing for them. It puts hope in them. Rap videos used to promote gang violence are being removed from YouTube. There is a clear link between these drill videos, as they're called, and very serious violence. Gangs posting music online that glamorise violence. What we're trying to do here is take something that's demonised and seen as something that is negative and prove it can serve a positive end. It doesn't matter how academic you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. The whole idea is to evolve your mind and help you understand stuff. Roadworks is a course that tries to educate and engage young people through the medium of drill music. In summer 2019, we invited a group of young men from across London to take part in the six-day pilot. Where does UK drill come from? How would you how would you answer that question? My name's Kieran Thapper, and I'm a journalist and a youth worker based in South London. I feel really strongly about the fact that music can be an educational tool and I thought we should be thinking about innovative ways of connecting with young people. My name is Mehra Golestani. I also go by a reveal. Yo, reveal, double P, where's in the poets? I'm a rapper, a hip-hop educator, and I do a lot of youth work. Each day of the workshop, we've picked like a different subject to the curriculum. There are social sciences, so philosophy, politics, sociology. And it's going to be an examination of that subject in the context of drill music. But London Posse, they were the first rappers to really implement that British time, they were that London Posse. We wanted Roadworks to be fun and engaging and allow everyone involved to be themselves. It has to be an enjoyable thing. If you're enjoying it, you're going to learn more. Yeah, viciously retaliate, bitterly repeat to infinity. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very non-hierarchical space, but it's also about trying to make sure that everyone involved takes it seriously and engages in a critical way. And they step out of their comfort zone, they start discussing things they wouldn't usually discuss. What if we try and apply the different stages of Plato's Cave to drill music? So we've got the realities of life in the hood, yeah, then we've got the general public, drill music, and then we've got the actual drill artists. Where would you apply those four things to that? I feel like the drill music's the fire because it's what's allowing the pitches to be made in the first place. And you could say the media are the people trying to create the shapes mm. because they're using the drill to create a story from it. Well, I'd say the fire is the experiences the drill artists go through. We start being shootings, people selling drugs, and then the music is the mediation. So there's different ways of applying this, right? There's different stakeholders, and this is where you can think, think about power. Roadworks has been a mixture of conversations that actually make you reflect on your surroundings. I feel like I've managed to open my mind a bit more. For something I can connect to, like drill, it's nice for it to be in a space where you can learn about it and use it in learning and just help with my outlook on life and that. I did not get along with school. The teachers here give us more freedom to what we could say. It would be a course that I actually want to attend every day. Something about the education system is not allowing everyone to participate. But when you're sat around a table and you're respectful, everyone's equal, everyone wants to contribute, then you can really create something special. <laughs> the first half of every workshop is, is academic, and then the second half is practical and about careers. It's really to allow participants to start developing skills that are going to be applicable. So we got industry leading professionals to come in and, and lead sessions with the young people involved so that they could hear it from the people that are really shaping this music culture directly. Utilising influencer platforms, like just creating memes. Things like management, marketing, distribution, videography. And these are all skills that can be applied in lots of different jobs, not just music. So he's able to break down these 
So after a series of workshops where the young people could absorb all of this information and these skills, we wanted to take them to the studio. You know, let's see what happens. Let's see what creative process comes from this, this programme that we've designed. My name's Corey Johnson, founder and CEO of Defenders Entertainment. The first young people out of here, that was like Tiny and your Crepton Conan and your AJs and your Dinos. And then more recently, this Heady One's first mixtape we put out, the one. This is the training grounds. As an engineer, I've recorded everybody from the section law, six, seven, you named them. But from the moment they came in here, they had a different energy. Like, what them men know about street? You're either doing up drug, time and pen, or doing up R.I.P. Moving through like delivery, doing drug posts like Uber Eats. But they were instantly open. And that's what made me realise, hold on, these lot are something else. But you can't blame them, that's just the environment that they came from. What you know about saying them bandos putting products in boxes like Avon? Anyone that lives in what you call the ends will know that drill music is going to naturally stem from a very uneasy upbringing slash background. But I feel like Roadworks enables you to tap into that side where you don't really think about it on a regular basis in terms of how we actually get across our messages. You could get dropped by the kitchen ting, or the knife couldn't get eaten, because the girls don't care when the dates can't prevent, so we are here on revenge. Like, talked about Joe and like, linked it to history, philosophy, sociology and politics as well. The music we're making is kind of like pooling our ideas together us to reflect the stuff we've been talking about. When we were growing up, I couldn't care less about politics. These guys are in tune with it they're, to the point they're putting it in their music. That's, that's a big difference, bro. We're trying to make a new wave in drill. We're not just talking about all the cruddy stuff. We're bringing in things that could help other people and to uh, assault better in our lives. This tune is actually going to be a Mazza. Mazzaline. Like, it's going to be a man thing. Like, just Imagine, understand. Come out. <laughs> come out. <laughs> man got cool down. Say nothing. Man got suspended from the beef in there. Come, sir. Right. Move them. Come. <laughs> out the beef we come. <laughs> I respect them because everybody helped everyone. Everyone supported each other. And if they can support each other as a unit doing music, that means you can support each other outside in life. <laughs> so, mad. so this isn't just about the music. This is also about a generation being able to be self-motivated and self-reliant. It's like football. It's not everyone who's gonna be playing for England. It's not just about everybody being an entertainer. It's the entertainment business. We still need the accountants. We still need the lawyers, the manager, the photographer, the editor, tour manager, the engineer. It's creating employment. It's creating opportunities. I've gotten to know new people. I've gotten to know what a studio is like. I've never been to a studio, so for me, coming to somewhere like Roadworks is really important. Oh, it's giving me like more understanding about stuff that I didn't know about, like so, like the industry side of it. I think that's helpful, and, like insightful. I feel like I've been limited by my area, by the council, and I feel like that I've came to this course now and it's helping out things that I wanted to say but I couldn't get that across because I didn't have the right platforms or accessibility. We've got young youths who, who might have come from certain backgrounds and they might have seen certain things, but it's not necessarily that's all we're about. And this workshop is going to help us to show that we're more conscious and we think a lot deeper about things. It's been sick, fam. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> It's really important to conclude the whole programme with a music video and allow some of the participants who didn't rap to learn the skills from a respective videographer. All right, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. I'm Patman TV, I'm a director, I shoot music videos. So guys, if we get that shot over here again, we've got some sick theme going on right now. Um, we've got forklifts involved, uh, helmets, high-vis jackets, all that sort of stuff. The Roadworks theme came about to show development and urban change and to try and explain some of the realities for young people in London. It's not your average drill video. There's a meaning behind the song and there's a meaning within the video as well. Uh, man, I'm ready, yeah? Growing up, I had things that kept me busy at youth clubs and courses and, but, and that's why now I'm, I'm productive. I love kids right now who don't have anything to sort of like guide them or keep them in check. So I feel like something like Roadworks is very important to show them some opportunity, show them that they can make something of themselves and be successful. The original perception is about groups of young people who don't want to interact with each other and that it's solely about gang warfare. Roadworks already has defeated that, the whole myth, because this is young people with a passion for something that they believe in. 
something like this could be life changing for them. It puts hope in them. Everyone looks at Joe like he's evil. It makes everyone feel like angry. Look at me, I'm a happy guy and like, <laughs> I still listen to Drew music. Drill is a widely criticised music form and it's understandable because it's, it's violent and it's provocative, but that is literally just a reflection of the world that these young people are living in. In general public, they only see what's in the media. Bare youths wearing balaclavas and talking madness, but I feel like to understand everything that goes into it and like the stories behind it and why it happens and how we reach that stage to like making that type of music, it's something that everyone should know and everyone should be aware of. Music is stories, it's how humans tell stories and that's no different with rap music and with drill. If you take another art form like the opera or literature, they generally receive a heightened intellectual respect from people. But rap and drill has tended to be something that is taken at arm's length at face value. There's an inequality in that, so this is about trying to make people realise that no, that all these things deserve equal respect and we can learn about the world through these things. This thing needs to be all over the place, it needs to be in schools, unis, and just be able to get the message across to young people that no matter what they want to do and how they want to do it, they can do it either way. And it may, that maybe not even just be through music, but through other ways as well. I think Roadworks has proven that you can learn about academic subjects and practical skills through music, connect with people that otherwise aren't that easy to connect with and achieve real social change. In 2020, we are seeking funding to develop the course, reach more young people and spread awareness amongst educators. The fight against the music isn't just about the music. This is a social and economic problem. Those problems was there before drill. Those problems will be there after drill. The music isn't the problem. The music is the solution. Talk, talk about the road, you ain't really from the road, so how you gonna know how the road works? More than diversions, roadblocks, really trying to rework how the road works. Too many have to deal with the road hurt, and the realists know that the road burns. What them man know is hold work, ask them and they'll tell you that road earns. Talk, talk about the road, you ain't really from the road, so how you gonna know how the road works? More than diversions, roadblocks, really trying to rework how the road works. Too many have to deal with the road hurt, and the realists know that the road burns. What them man know is hold work, ask them and they'll tell you that road earns. Protect what you love, do it with the kitchen, gloves do it too. Using a system where your roles are all prescripted. Trying to get inside and change, get kicked So we're still viewed as violent misfits. You're gonna deal with shit that we couldn't. Expand those drugs, catching no whiskers. This is my world, come over and come in.